This is Channel 2 News, coverage you can count on. By selective thinning and, and getting those ground fuels cleaned up, our goal is if we have a fire to keep it on the ground and not let it get up into those crowns because once it's in the crowns, it's very difficult to suppress. It certainly feels like springtime out there and fire crews are already gearing up for a busy fire season. What they're doing to prevent the big one, tops Channel 2 News at 530. Well, you may be noticing smoke around the Tahoe Basin in the next couple of days and weeks, all because they are now doing prescribed burns, like we said earlier, to try and prevent the big one. Good evening, everyone. I'm Wendy DeMonte. I'm Kristen Remington. Thanks for keeping it here. And that's because with this ongoing drought and, of course, the less than desirable snowpack, firefighters really feel it's important to get an upper hand on the fire season this year. Jeff Martinez has the story. Thin wisps of smoke rise above the mountains in the Washoe Valley as fire crews start prescribed burns this week. Crews round up dead trees and brush and put them in piles where they are burned under supervision. Firefighters Roland Shaw and Joe Fording busy getting equipment ready to go. It uh, reduces the surface fuel enough to where it modifies the fire behavior so uh, the fire is, uh, burns with less intensity and it also helps uh, keep the fire from getting up into the, the crowns of the trees. And that could make the difference from a small brush fire turning into a raging inferno we've seen all too often here. Over the next several weeks, weather permitting, crews will be starting fires at several locations around the Tahoe Basin, from Spooner Summit to the south and west shores. Signs in the burn areas will alert you where the fires are burning and not to call 911. The last two years we've burned approximately 1,500 piles up in that area. A lot of good work's been done and that, that's going to help us with the fire danger and not only that but forest health. Each morning fire crews and meteorologists look at the weather conditions. Things like relative humidity, the uh, dryness of the fuel and of course the winds play a big factor to decide whether or not they can burn that day. Right now, the Sierra snowpack is only at about 17 to 20 percent of average, and our severe to exceptional drought continues, and that has firefighters concerned. There's a, a, a large effort uh, to increase people's fire awareness because that definitely important part of the prevention program is to uh, uh, minimize the human starts. Roland says if people are extra careful out there and we get some help from Mother Nature along with these prescribed burns, hopefully this year's fire season will not be a bad one. Covering the story, Jeff Martinez, Channel 2 News.